What's going on YouTube? How y'all doing? So I'm back with another video. As promised, I'm dropping more and more. Trying to get that 100K by the end of the year, man. That is a goal. That is a goal. I'm just trying to get back into the YouTube thing. But that's my fault, you know, I'm stupid. So <laughs> in this video, I'm cutting a, a client of mine. He's actually a pretty dope basketball player. He's in high school. He just made state, but unfortunately they lost. He's one of the highest recruits in California. I'll put his Instagram in the description. So you guys should go check him out. He's actually pretty dope and he's actually a pretty cool kid. I've been cutting him since he was like 13, 14, something like that. But now he's, I was cutting him when he was a little kid. Now he's, you know, like 6'6", six, six or something like that. Yeah, in this video, I am doing a high taper with a four against the grain. I always record his haircuts on Instagram. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but my Instagram is the same or it's going to be right there. I added enhancement at the end. Stay tuned. I'm going to be dropping way more videos. Trust, trust, trust. <laughs> but like I always say, peace and love, baby. I'm out. What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm back with another video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. It's going to be a banger. Stay tuned. Comb the hair before cutting the hair down. We're going to be coming in with our number four guard against the grain. I have it open at first. Make sure that's all even throughout the entire head and then close it just to get the extra stubbles. Um, you can never be wrong to double check, triple check, or quadruple check. Just make sure that it's all even throughout the entire head. So I'm gonna create a ball line right here with my liners. I'm gonna go kind of right below the ear, as you can see on the ear and like how it lines up right there. I'm gonna try to get it right there as possible because we're gonna do a high taper. So make sure that your ball line is straight. <laughs> Mine didn't look that straight right here because I was cutting at a certain angle, so I couldn't really see. I eventually came in and cleaned it all up and made it more straighter. But in the future, just make sure that your ball line is straight. You know, when I like how I say straight ball line, straight guy line, straight fade, straight taper, all that. First step of this taper, we have our babyless low pros. I like these clippers a lot. Um, a, a lot of people, they don't like them, um, but I feel like they do the job. They are a little heavy, but I mean, I mess with them, you feel me? Uh, make sure you have the lever all the way open right here. Make the guy line about, i say about a finger's width or about an inch. Uh, make sure that the the guy line is straight. As you can see, it is not straight. Because, like I said before, I was kind of at an angle, so I couldn't really see. Um, but for you guys that are new at cutting hair, just make sure that the, the guy line is straight. So we're gonna close it up right here, take out that bottom line right there. Uh, I'm using the corner of the blade. Make sure you always use the corner of the blade so that way you have more, you know, you know, control of your clipper. Then we close it up about, I mean, we open it up about halfway and then open it up all the way. And then you just want to play with the lever, whatever dark spots you see, just play with the lever to eliminate the dark spots because um, every lever is not going to do exactly what it's supposed to do. You got to really know your clipper and know your touch. So that's why I say play with the lever. If you see any dark spots, you know, just close it up and just lighten it all up. So now we have our number one guard. We're going to have the lever all the way open to make the second guy line. Make the guy line about another finger's width or an inch. Uh, again, make it straight. Uh, as you get to the top, you see I'm kind of flicking out. When you, What I'm doing is when I get to the top where I want to stop at, I flick out because I don't want to make another hard line. If you make a hard line, it's harder to take out. So once you get to the top of where you want to, just flick out. Um, it, it might take some time to get used to as for the new barbers, but eventually you'll know your touch. And once you get it, you just flick out. Okay. So here we have our one and a half guard and right here i'm flicking out uh, i'm just trying to lighten up that that previous line i did with the number one with the number one and a half guard going up there flicking out just to blend it in see what it does um to see what the guard does to the hair because not every guard does exactly what it's supposed to do as well so when we get there we we flick up to the 
the spot that we want to lighten up and then eventually we'll just blend down from there. So we have our number two guard right here and we're basically doing the exact same thing we, we did with our number one and a half guard. Um, make sure we're lightening up that spot so everything can blend in nice and smooth. So to take out that bottom portion line we have right there, we have our zero guard. I have it open all the way just to see what it does, lighten up, and then I eventually close it. And then I play with the lever from there on. So I close it then do halfway and then open. I'm making sure that I'm using the corner of my blade. That's the most important part with tapers because tapers is a fade basically in a general area. And you kind of want to be precise with your taper. So you want to keep that fade in that area. You do not want to make it go any higher you don't want to make it too low either so you kind of want to get it in the right spot so use your levers to pick out any dark spots as you can see it is coming together um, the taper so just make sure you use the corners flick out use your angles use your touch and that's it to the side taper we're going to be doing a high taper so we're going to eliminate the hook so we're just balding out from where the hooks meets the top of the hairline to the top of the ear So we have our lever all the way open. We're basically doing the same exact steps as we did in the back taper. I have my lever all the way open. I think it's about, it's not an inch, about like a half an inch right here. I kind of want to keep the fade a little bit lower or the taper a little bit lower. So we have the lever kind of about, um, I want to say yeah, about half an inch. So we're going to be closing up right here. The lever's closed. We're using the corners. And I, as you can see right here, I'm going to be opening up just a slight halfway. And then I'm going to open it up. Uh, I'm just playing with the levers, trying to eliminate any dark spots I see, um, using the corners, and also while trying to keep the fade low or the taper low in that general area. So now we have our number one. We're going to make the same guideline about half an inch to an inch on this taper. Um, again, we're doing the same exact steps from the back taper just make sure that it's straight flick out when you when you're supposed to at the top just flick out and um yeah i feel like i'm i feel like i sound like a broken record i'll keep repeating myself but you know in barbering it's all about repetition it's all about repeating the same steps it's all about learning from your uh, the steps or the mistakes that you make so i mean don't feel don't be afraid to mess up in barbering because you're gonna mess up you know but with that being said we have our number one and a half and we're just flicking out using the corners just making sure that we lighten up those dark spots but back to what i was saying is if you know you're a new barber and you don't want to mess up you're gonna have to to learn from what you just did so uh i messed up plenty of times when i when i first started i messed up a lot but you learn from it man you, you know you can't learn from you can't learn anything without failure so just keep that in mind you guys man just fail failure creates success so now that we change up the angles we have our zero guard we're just going to be taking out that initial line that we made with the one guard guideline so now we're just going to be um fading it all out using the lever um I, I have it open and then close and then halfway i'm just playing with it to create or to take out any dark spots or as of right here i'm doing kind of at an angle i'm cutting his hair because his hair grows at a certain angle um you also you always want to kind of cut against the grain you don't really want to do cross grain i've done that a lot in my you know learning um going cross grain it does cut it but it also kind of like it makes it a little patchy so just keep that in mind you guys just trying to go against the grain at all costs and right here we're just using the one one guard just to clean it all up just to you know take out any dark spots but for the ear lineup i mean there's really nothing i can say about this just make sure that it is crispy as you can um 
don't go too hard right there because that's a sensitive area you know the neck is kind of soft and just follow the ear use the corner and just follow the ear important part of this haircut the lineup i'm using hairspray to make sure that his hair stays still when i make the line um some hair doesn't stay so if you want to do that you know just make it dry off first and then come in uh, i'm starting from the middle of his forehead and then working my way to the left yeah his left or right yeah uh just make sure that it's straight try not to push the hairline too far back you can only push the hairline back if it's necessary uh, you don't want to, you know, push it too far back in his hair. You know, his forehead is huge. So let's push it back as necessary if you have to. Uh, if, if you need to match it with the other side, then that's fine. Because some hair, some hairlines, they, um, one grows higher than the other. So just, you know, keep that in mind, you fellas. <laughs> So now we're just finishing up the cut. I use enhancements on his front lineup. You didn't, ha you don't have to. His hairline is already kind of crispy as it is, but I wanted to do it for the sake of the video. My camera ended up dying while I was doing it, so we didn't get to record that part. But with that being said, uh, the video is about over. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting me. Um, my journey for 100K is right around the corner. I just got to be consistent and stay grinding. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think at the end of the video or in a few seconds. It's a fire cut, y'all. So let me know what you guys think. I'm out, man. Peace, love. I love y'all, man. So, so much. Love y'all.